Alright you guys, welcome to another Lady Savage video. We are in the middle of a series right now. We're doing my top three favorite exercises for all the different body parts. So today we're going to be going over our legs. Uh, my first love for legs is going to be squats. Just the regular back squat with uh, the barbell on your shoulders is the best movement of all time. And the reason why I think it's so great is first, it's just a compound movement. Um, generally, you go heavier um, and you're using a lot more of your legs than a lot of the other movements. A lot of the other movements will isolate your hamstrings or your glutes or your quads. This one will get all of them. Um, I really, really like uh, using a barbell over a dumbbell or over a kettlebell, but you can, if you're still just getting acclimated to this movement, you can use those instead. Um, but with the, with the squats, I really try to make sure that we're going deep enough into the squat to uh, make sure that you're actually getting in all of the movement that you possibly can, full range of movement. That way you're, you're using your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, all of that. So I do try to go below parallel when I do my squats. So the next one we're gonna do is gonna be front squats. Imagine that. Um, so the front squats are another form of squat. However, um, they do work different areas and it can be a little bit better for those who have back problems or knee problems. Um, I had previously had a few knee issues before, and this is what I did rather than doing the back squats. Um, so it takes a lot of pressure off of your shoulders, which will take pressure off of your spine as well. Um, the thing with <clears throat> both of these forms of squats, the back squats and the front squats, is that it uses a ton of core muscles. Um, and, and you're really gonna wanna make sure that you're tightening up your core when you're going up and down. Um, the entire time bracing yourself, making sure that you're breathing properly. But these front squats are my favorite. It, it does um, relieve a little pressure off of the knees and puts more pressure into the hips and glutes. Um, so you can feel the difference in those two movements. Um, you should be able to get a little bit lower with this one as well, um, depending on the weight distribution. Just make sure that you're not going too heavy for your body. And last but not least, we have the sumo deadlifts. Uh, this was really, really hard for me for a long time. I had just started doing it a couple months back, trying to get back into it and trying to convince myself that it was a great movement. I hated it, I didn't like it, it felt super awkward, but I have been going after it and absolutely loving it. Um, you get a really, really good uh, tight squeeze in your hamstrings and your glutes. It also is really good for working those inner thighs. We do not have adductors and ab abductor machines here. So that's a really great way for me to be able to get those in. So I absolutely love that, that uh, movement. So the thing with all of these three leg exercises is that they're all big, heavy movements. You can choose to do them with a kettlebell, a dumbbell, no body or just body weight um, and no equipment as well if you're just starting to lead yourself into these things. Um, but they are my favorite movements. They're all compound movements and they are just rock solid. So those are my top three exercises for legs.